Do some more examples subtracting decimals. So let's say we want to figure out what two minus 1.2 is. Pause this video and see if you can calculate this. So there's multiple ways to tackle this. One way is you could say, look, this is the same thing as two minus one, two minus one minus two tenths. This is two minus one and two tenths. So you were subtracting one and we're subtracting two tenths. Now two minus one is pretty straightforward to compute. Two minus one is going to be one, and then we need to subtract two tenths from that. So one is the same thing as 10 tenths. We could say this is, this is 10 tenths. 10, let me write it this way, 10 tenths. And we're going to subtract two tenths. What is that going to give us? Well, that's going to give us, if we have 10 tenths and we take away two tenths, that's going to give us eight tenths. Now let me write it down here. Eight tenths, which is the same thing as 0.8 or 8 tenths. One way to think about this is if you're subtracting 0.2 from 1, if you view this, if you view this 1 as a 1.0, instead of expressing this as 1, 1 and 0 tenths, we are thinking about this as 0 ones and 10 tenths. And when you think about it as 0 ones and 10 tenths, well, 10 tenths minus 2 tenths, it's easier to then take a, think about, well, 10 of something minus 2 of something is going to be 8 of something. It's going to be 8 tenths. Now, we can also visualize this on a number line. So for example, let me draw a number line here. And so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is 2. So we're going to starting at two, and we're subtracting one and two tenths. So one way to think about it is we first subtracted one, we first subtracted one, and then we subtracted two tenths, and that got us to the point eight tenths on the number line. Another way to think about this, and the whole point here is to see multiple strategies and for you to think about what strategy you like the most and to realize they all get you to the same place if you're thinking about it in a reasonable way, is you could use what's the difference between two and 1.2? So 1.2 sits here on the number line. So what's the difference between two and one and two tenths? Another way to think about it is, how many tenths do you have to add to one and two tenths to get to two? Well, if you've already got two tenths, you need to add another eight tenths to get to the next hole. So you have to add eight tenths, or you have to add 0 0.8. So the difference between two and 1.2, the difference between two and 1.2 is equal to 0 0.8. Let's do a few more examples that get a little bit more involved. So let's say we want to calculate what 3.8 minus 1.5 is. Pause the video and see if you can calculate this. Well, just like before, we could view this as three minus one, so we're subtracting the ones, plus eight tenths minus five tenths, minus, minus five tenths, minus five tenths. Notice, we have three and eight tenths, three and eight tenths, minus one and five tenths, minus one and minus five tenths. And so now we can figure out, okay, three, minus one, that's just going to be equal to two. And then eight tenths minus five tenths, well that is three tenths. And so this is going to be two and three tenths, which of course we could write as two, two point three. That seemed pretty straightforward. Let's do one that's a little bit more involved. Let's say we want to calculate four and five tenths, or 4.5, minus two, and 8 tenths, or 2.8. Pause the video and see if you can calculate this. So you might want to do the exact same thing. You might say, okay, well this is the same thing. Let's think about the ones. This is 4 minus 2 plus 5 tenths plus 5 tenths minus 8 tenths minus 8 tenths. 4 and 5 tenths 
four and five tenths minus two and minus eight tenths. Minus two and eight tenths. That's exactly what we have up here. And you'd say, all right, four minus two, that is two. But then you get to five tenths minus eight tenths. And there's multiple ways to tackle this. But you might say, well, how do I take away eight tenths if I've only got five tenths here? And there's a bunch of strategies that you could think about. You could say, hey, what if I can get some more tenths here? So this is five tenths, five tenths minus eight, eight tenths. What if I could get some more tenths here? And the best way I could think of it is like, what if I were to break up these ones because one is 10 tenths. So I could view a two, I could view a two as one plus one, or I could view this as one plus 10 tenths, 10 tenths. So if you view a two as one and 10 tenths, you can then just add those, you can then figure out what is 10 tenths plus five tenths plus five tenths minus eight tenths minus eight, minus eight tenths, what is that going to be? Well, this is a little bit more straightforward. 10 tenths plus five tenths is going to be 15 tenths. And if you have 15 tenths and you take away eight of them, you're going to be left with seven tenths. So this gets us to one plus seven tenths. So all of this, when you compute it, that is seven tenths, which I could write as 0 0.7, which is equal to, so this is equal to one, one, and one and seven tenths. Now there's other strategies that you could do here. One strategy, that, and this is the one that I typically do in my head is, I write this as 4.5 minus 2.5, minus 2.5 minus 0 0.3. Or four and five tenths minus two and five tenths minus three tenths. Now why did I write it this way? Because I find this pretty straightforward to compute. And then once I get that answer, I just have to take away three tenths. So for example, well, if I have five tenths here and I'm taking away five tenths, those are gonna knock each other out. And so I'm just gonna be left with four minus two, which is gonna be two. And then I have to take away the three tenths. Then I have to take away the three tenths. So this is a pretty straightforward way of doing it in your head. So what's three tenths less than two? Well, you can visualize a number line in your head. Well, that's gonna be one and seven tenths. One and seven tenths. And if this feels strange how I got, oh, one, I wrote seven hundredths. One and seven tenths. And if this seems strange how I got there that fast, just think about this. This is the same thing as one plus one minus three tenths. And this one right over here is the same thing as 10 tenths. And so 10 tenths minus three tenths, that over there is going to be, that is going to be seven tenths. So it's going to be one and seven tenths, which is what we got before. So the whole point here is to appreciate that there's multiple strategies for subtracting decimals. Some that you can do a little bit more automatically, but it's really good to think about what's going on in your head. And some strategies are actually better in your head than on paper, or at least more easy in your head.